This is Zig Academy. Now we will briefly talk about candlestick patterns. At the beginning, I want to say that there are many candlestick patterns and I will not be able to cover all of them. So the ones I will be focusing on will be the most significant ones. They are repeated on chart with regular frequency and connected with trend reversals. All of that is closely tied to the concept of support and resistance. You can use candlestick patterns to recognize valid levels of support and resistance before you have a price movement confirmation. So candlestick patterns are used to build confidence about incoming or observed price levels as the potential of support or resistance zones in the future. Likewise, they can give you a signal to potentially enter or exit a position you are in because signals generated by candlestick patterns potentially lead to trend reversals. So let's go through some examples, first model ones like on the screen, and then move to the actual chart to spot them on the market. In our model example, the white bars leading up to the candlestick pattern are generalized view of an uptrend and the black ones are a generalized view of the downtrend. I will first show the patterns we can easily spot on a chart. If you have some charting experience, I'm pretty sure you've seen them already. So shooting stars and hammers. They're the opposite of each other. They're called shooting stars and hammers because, well, let, let just, just look at them. Uh, doesn't it look like a hammer indeed a uh, hammerhead and handle like in the left example a uh, hammerhead is a body and the wick is a handle usually uh, the wicks are greater than uh, twice that the height of the body but it's not a rule it could be three four times uh, longer uh, the longer the wick the stronger the influence uh, most of the time so which means that the price has been both up aggressively this might give you a potential uh, level of, of support. The opposite here is called the shooting star and the same rules apply here, but just in opposite way. So it gives us a possible level of resistance uh, at the top of uh, like upward uh, channel or, or uh, bullish movement. What is worth noticing with most patterns, the color of a candle, uh, the actual candle that forms the pattern is not always important. There are times uh, when you can analyze the color and it will give you a higher or lower probability of the reversal upcoming, but that's a price of uh, that's a piece of advanced knowledge. So I can give you here just a beginner pack uh, of a candlestick patterns and there are so many of them. So uh, you have to, you know, educate yourself about the rest of them on your own. I can cannot present all of them. So let's go to the uh, next part, the opposites hanging man and inverted hammer first uh, the inverted hammer looks like a tor hammer right it's, it's heavy to to carry uh, usually hammers are related to marking resistance at the top of the trend as we've seen uh, on the previous example but still an inverted hammer spotted at the bottom of a trend is made, uh, is mostly making uh, support so Hammer turn upside down is not as reliable as regular hammer. However, if you see a trend reversal at the end of, of the cycle and price starts moving up afterwards, you can expect a new uh, upward trend to form after after seeing an inventor hammer. Hanging man is the inverse of an inventor hammer, marking us uh, the resistance on the top of a bullish trend. So upper body long down the week. Uh, then we have another patterns called dojis, so bullish doji and bearish doji. They may be not as reliable as the previously presented pairs, uh, so keep that in mind. But dojis are known for having little to no body. So uh, uh, the wicks are generally more or less equal in length, both uh, top and the bottom uh, of the body. But uh, it's not a 100% rule. As you can see on the left side with the bullish doji here, we have just a um, lower wick, like long lower wick and just a little of the top uh, price action. And that makes the body of the candle center of the candlestick formation in terms of uh, bearish doji where we have uh, like similar length top and bottom week so dodges are everywhere uh, if you will take a look on the chart we, we will go to uh, to an actual chart after that presentation and you will see that and they tell us that there was a fight between buyers and sellers and stronger ones make the trends uh, reverse for example the support level created by bullish doji isn't as strong as uh, for example the one marked for us by hammer 
but they signal a level of support. They also signal indecision in the market because, as I've mentioned um, before, there was a fight, tough fight between buyers and sellers. We had people coming down and selling, but also those trying to push the price back down. And then buyers come, came trying to repurchase it, and those actions created a kind of equilibrium state represented uh, on the chart by, by doji. So that's how the dojis are formed. Uh, we see a more or less uh, equal amount of force between buyers and sellers. And that's uh, more like a philosophical aspect uh, of the market view. So uh, let's go to the next part. We have morning star and evening star. Those are sets of three candles, not just a single candle. Uh, the first is a relatively large to uh, medium sized body. The second is going to be dodgy most of the time. Uh, and the third is rather large to medium size. So in the first example, uh, the candle needs to be opposite color, uh, this, this finishing candle. So in the first example, you see the big uh, green candle at the end of, of uh, the downtrend, fold, the green candle fold, uh, the doji. And, and the evening star example, we've seen resistance zone form at the doji level, and then we have big uh, red candle bigger than the uh, pre doji bullish candle. So there must be an opposite color uh, ending that formation. So its primary candle of this formation uh, is a bearish one, like a red one. Uh, the one leading away must be bullish one. So green in that case. Uh, what those parents tells us? So it means that we are facing a powerful reversal, which is mostly a reliable pattern. What are we observing here? We had a downtrend and a significant sell-off uh, at the end of the downtrend, followed by indecision on the market, that's represented by a doji, and then big bullish buy-up. So it's nice to look at the longitude of the bodies here, because if the bullish uh, move up close above the open, as I said, so we have big uh, candles that are bigger than, than the kind of pre doji. So then uh, we we can see we can say that this uh, is a solid uh, reversal sign. So the price was pushed uh, down uh, for for some time, but then the buyers came and they uh, decided to even pay more than than uh, at the beginning of of previous pre doji candles. So. Uh, of course, it doesn't have to close above the open here, uh, but better if it does, let's say it that way. So the stronger this candle, the stronger the upcoming uh, trend will be most of the uh, times. And evening star is the same, but uh, just you know upside down. So we can mark resistance by, by that pattern. The last pattern that I will present are spinning tops and bottoms. Those are sets of candles that uh, have relatively small bodies compared to the candles leading up to them. So as you can see uh, on this example, the, all the candles are nearly similar size. Uh, and we have three bars down, treat them as a generalized view of uh, Dow trend, which uh, I mean by having this candle relatively small body uh, compared to the ones preceding candles uh, would have a larger body than those seen in the spinning uh, bottom formation. So. Uh, just make uh, that observation that those candles are not uh, significantly uh, greater than, than the candles which you can observe pre-formation. So, so as we've seen uh, before in the example of, uh, for example, shooting star or, uh, or morning star, the candles must be usually big and that's marked as the whole candle set. Over here, they are not significant. They are very uh, small usually compared to the to the movement in, in uh, previous price action. So that also shows us the balance between buyers and sellers. So balance has been agreed upon. So we probably won't go above or below the uh, price level set by a spinning formation. As we can see in the first example, the resistance zone has been formed by spinning top and uh, at the spinning bottom case, we have support zone form. Uh, and of course, waiting for a confirmation uh, signal here would be wise, but still they can helpfully uh, determine support and resistance in general for us before that uh, price action confirmation came. So you must take into consideration that those two formations can also mark consolidation before the uh, next move in a trend. So uh, we can have 
like resistance on form, we can have some consolidation then. Uh, and we don't have to uh, like observe reversal here. There could be a like, continuation of an uptrend in, in case of spinning top. So for example, a trend may continue upwards or downwards after a while, but that will most probably mark a significant support uh, and resistance levels. So there are all uh, candlestick patterns, 10 candlestick patterns which are presented five parts uh, again. And now let's go back to the trading view chart to spot them on the uh, market. Okay, we're back on trading view Ethereum USDT Binance chart and let's find those patterns on actual historical bars. We will start from Hammer and Shooting Star since we are presenting them as the first. Uh, over here you have a candlestick pattern already, but let's find those Hammers uh, and Shooting Stars. Over here we have kind of dodgy, but this is also a uh, formation that's saying that this is going to be a downtrend over here. Uh, we had a hammer here, kind of. Let's zoom it out. Over here we had a downtrend, dodgy hammer, and we got up. Uh, over here is a shooting star, but that's the whole formation. Uh, well, 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 here we had a hammer, but it doesn't make too much uh, validity over here. Another hammer. Here's something more or less as a shooting star, but was a dodgy. Another hammer. Another hammer. We're in downturn, so we are spotting hammers mostly. Another hammer. Well, that could be called a shooting star. That was a dodgy formation. Shooting star. Hammer. No, so you you, you know that you got the point now how how to find hammer and shooting star. Let's go to the next one. In inventor hammer and hanging man. So something that we'll probably spot uh, less often, but but let's let's try to find mm, that at the bottom and at the top of the trend. Uh, but now let's find a hanging man. That was. Let's say over here, we got a little bit of consolidation thereafter, but but we have a drop also, and quite significant one, a few days later. This is not that common uh, candlestick pattern, especially on uh, crypto where you don't have a uh, session breaks, so that gaps are, are not uh, very often. Hanging man is also here. I will probably go to the to the next one because we are already in 2021. <laughs> uh, so let's let's take a look at dojis because there was a lot of dojis. So starting from from the beginning uh, of the chart again, here is a doji, here is a doji, here is a doji. Oh, here's a hammer, but. It's like having a very long week. Oh, here is Doji, another one. Actually, two in a formation. Doji. Doji. Bullish or bearish is basically where you can find it on a, on a chart and the top of the uptrend or in the bottom of, of uh, the, the falling uh, price momentum. Here was another doji, sorry guys, I haven't spotted uh, another one. Basically, dodges are, are super common, another one. So we will go to the beginning of 2000. Oh no, we are already in 2022. So uh, those were dodges, another one over here. So uh, now we will go to shooting uh, the harder uh, combinations of of candles, so we will have candlestick patterns like over here, Morningstar. We had a downward trend, 
some kind of oxidation morning star and we had upwards momentum as you can see this candle was not uh, bigger than the candle pre doji but still it marked uh, quite significant uh, uptrend incoming over here we had the opposite the evening star quite a uh, long week in the candle over here so also a little bit of consolidation but not below the level uh, marked by by doji and we had downtrend over here we can also say that it's kind of an evening star formation here that was a forming but but this candle doesn't look bullish so so it was not invited but over here we have a perfect formation we have a perfect uh, morning star formation so we had the black so bull bearish candle we had a doji on also very significant uh, support level and then we have price bounce up not too much but well actually quite well to the next level perfectly to the to the further uh, support level so 40 percent over here just from a candlestick formation for example and support resistance zones over here also we can say that it was a morning star but mm, was not represented very mm, strong on the market another one kind of a morning star formation you know the the, the examples i've shown you were were kind of ideal so uh, the market ones could be uh, different like over here see we have this formation which was not like greater in the candle height than the pre bullish uh, the pre doji candle but was significantly uh, you know huge in price action comparing to the doji and we have marked the uh, reversal thanks to that so uh, we are already in 2020 yes yeah, so another one very very strong uh, morning evening star signal so if someone was tempted to wait for confirmation over here right you could be very very much hard in your portfolio but if you decided to exit after morning star uh, after an evening star sorry then you can potentially avoid that whole drop which was even up to 50 percent in a few days so uh, basically that's that's what those formations are informing you about so uh, we are in 2021 <laughs> nearly so the last uh, evening star formation is here and let's go to find spinning tops and spinning bottoms uh, that's uh, easier for us since we have marked uh, since we already marked uh, previously the uh, support resistance zones on ethereum but let's try to uh, find it over here we have spinning top as you can see price was rejected here is a kind of spinning bottom spinning top spinning top spinning top I'm trying to find some spinning bottom like over here also over here so you see that there are kind of um, equilibrium created on such a level that there are not uh, enough uh, people wanting to move aggressively price on the direction it was uh, already uh, coming so if we have an uptrend there was no power enough uh, on the side of buyers to continue the uptrend and in terms of a uh, downtrend there was no uh, selling pressure enough to to continue price fall off so another spinning here another one here so basically with that five formation sets you can do a lot uh, on the market on your own and create a strategy that is uh, basically making your actions much much easier so uh, that's it for for uh, for now for for presentation of those uh, candlestick formations as I mentioned there is multiple multiple uh, more of them so take a look on the internet and basically think about creating uh, 
for the first for the first strategy that you're going to use, think about strategy that's created on uh, easy uh, to catch and easy to distinguish factors. So making too much uh, of uh, complication in terms of uh, actual triggers on strategy. Can someone uh, make made you uh, the, the, the decision the, the, led you to the decisive paralyze? In terms of candlestick formation, for example, this is really easy to spot, and those kind of signals are most of the time obvious. Like in terms of uh, hammers, shooting stars, and uh, for example, those formations uh, like we had previously. So, morning, evening star. Uh, this will help you greatly if you will take your time and get through the chart and find them on your own and get some practice because otherwise uh, if you will not play those formations for example on the very low time frame just to see with low capital uh, engagement how it's actually behaving on the market like over here for example we have straight uh, morning star formation that leads to the uptrend you will never have confidence in uh, making moves based on basically anything, not not only the uh, the candlestick formation. So now we'll talk about indicators. 